About two months ago I became a crazy ant guy because I got a third ant colony. And yes, that ugly thing is the queen. In this video she's raising an army with soldiers and everything. Amazing. Two months ago I introduced him into this terrarium. Soon after the workers and the queen started exploring this terrarium. Because this is a seed collecting species they also started collecting seeds. Yeah, no shit Sherlock. And they started licking crickets. Yes, ants have tongues. However, the most important thing they did was move stuff into the nest areas. This one here is carrying a seed because this is a seed collecting species. <sighs> I'm sorry. In this area here, they were taking a new nest so they could move out the test tube. So let's see where they are now which is two months later, you will be amazed because in two months the ants have done nothing. Where the F are they? No ants here and also no movement at the new nest area. However, I did notice that this nest area was a bit dry. This is of course not good, so I had to add a bit of our earth's most important life force. Damn man, just say water. So I had to add a bit of water. This still doesn't explain where the ants are and what they have been doing in this past two months. For that we need to take a look at the tube. Yes, these boring ants moved back in there. That is also why I covered it back up so they are comfortable in there. Let's take a look inside. To my surprise, the ants actually started doing something. They started raising giant pupae and larvae. This one will grow up to be a soldier, which you will see later in this video. As you can see, the size of workers varies, and this is normal in this species. There is a range from minor to major workers, which are the soldiers. And I think the pupa we see here sits about here on this range. This is confirmed later in this video, because it is a lot bigger than the other workers. However, we still need to get to the real soldier ants. And yes, this is actually how they look. And since I'm a random dude on the internet, it must be true. I'm kidding, don't trust anything I say. Just assume I'm an idiot. Because I am, in fact, an idiot. This is what they really look like. The small one above is a minor worker, and the big one a major. These majors, of course, help defend the colony, but they also do one other thing. Did I mention this is a seed collecting species? Yes you did, three times already you idiot. So the majors also help crack open these bigger seeds, for which the miners don't have big enough jaws. These are miners processing the smaller seeds. And I'm sorry for the dirty tube, as a biologist I can tell you th that's that shit. However, as you can see, the queen is getting a bit antsy. I'm sorry for that but it is actually time to cover them back up so they can relax. Ants don't like light, just like me when I have to wake up for work. I have one goal for this video, help the queen raise soldiers. And since I have a similar body as a soldier ant here, I know what they need. Proteins for the gains. So unfortunately, I have to disturb them again, but this time I come bearing gifts. I, uh, I don't know what that was. Let's just move on. This is of course the famous cricket jam that you guys made me taste in a previous video. Thanks again for that. However, I'm gonna start with giving them one of these blanched crickets. Yum. I'm cutting it in half, or at least I'm struggling to cut it in half. This way, it's easier for the ants to process and eat it. And yes, my hands are still shaky. One of the ants discovered it soon after. She went to get the rest of the colony. They started licking the crickets again. What is it with these ants? But don't worry, this time they will eat the cricket completely and also feed some to the pupae and larvae. In the meanwhile, some ants started exploring the rest of the terrarium again. I don't know why they are doing this, 
maybe they thought there was an intruder or something. Or maybe they smell my disgusting hands that have been in the terrarium. But anyway, this is not the time to do this. They have some work to do. That cricket needs to be processed and fed to the future soldiers. So the ants headed back. They started looking for a way to move this cricket into the nest. But this is of course easier said than done. That is, until one smart ant came. A hero we don't deserve, but need. Bob. Bob realized it was easier to start with the legs. If this was cut off, it would make the cricket lighter and it would already be easier to drag it into the nest. Unfortunately, I had to stop filming because I had a meeting with my manager. When I came back, the leg was gone. Leave a like on this video for Bob's artwork. Let's see where it is. I think that's an antennae. Not a leg. Apparently, they have cut off all the appendages. And there, there is the leg. Those are a lot of proteins, which means a lot of gains. Soldier end is inevitable. Since they seem to like the legs, I gave them another one. And yes, I got spare cricket legs just lying around in my house. I had another meeting with my manager, and when I came back, the cricket was completely gone, so I guess they finally succeeded with dragging it into the nest. There it is, and if you look closely here, you can see a larva eating from it. And also the other larvae and pupae are getting their fair share. I'm covering them back up. Now the transformation from pupae to soldier ant can start. This footage here shows that ants are cleaner than me. Bob here is taking out the food rest. Good job Bob, you are awesome. However, the rest of the colony had other ideas and brought the cricket back inside. Needless to say, Bob was not amused. She directed her anger at this piece of cotton and started cleaning that up. But the struggle is real. Lucky for her, help was on the way. Or not, they just walked past her. Poor Bob. Maybe she will have a better friend when Soldier Ant emerges. So to speed up that process, I gave them some more proteins. As you can see, they were still very hungry. And again, they started licking the cricket. I am more and more convinced that ants are related to dogs. A while later, the pupae had finally turned into a grown ant. Let's take a look. You probably don't see it, but it is in there. There, in the crowd. Her head is at least two or three times as big as the other workers. But it is still nowhere near as big as the biggest soldiers can get. When the colony grows, the soldiers will get bigger and bigger, and they will almost grow to the same size as the queen here. So if you want to see that, subscribe I guess, or not, and hope that the almighty algorithm brings you back. Now stop, don't click off, click on this video on the end screen here, it will help me a lot. Thank you to all patrons and members, and everyone that watched. I think you'll like this video next. Bye.